Researchers looked at a particular gene called COMT that shapes how fast individuals break down dopamine, a signaling chemical in the brain that cannabis interferes with. There are two possible versions of this gene called the methionine or M version and the valine or V version. Everybody inherits two copies of the gene, one from each parent. MMs in the study who smoked cannabis as adolescents had a minimal rise in their risk of developing schizophrenia. For the MVs, the risk went up two and a half times. But the VVs who smoked cannabis as adolescents were 10 times more likely to develop schizophrenia. The studies so far are based on large populations of people, but Terry Hammond and his son Steve were intrigued to see if the scientists could tell them anything meaningful about Steve's genes and his vulnerability to psychosis if smoking cannabis. A small contract testing company in Hertfordshire agreed to tell us which of the three possible genetic variations Steve had inherited. In the case of, of this display here, you can see three clear clusters. I mean, in the case of the COMT gene, um, you can see that the red group here shows the MM variant, the green group here shows the MV variant, and the blue group here shows the VV variant. What was our result? So, well, if you look, um, we actually put Steve onto um, this plate four times just so we could be 100% certain of the data for you. And the four green dots that I've just highlighted there are actually Steve. Um, and you can see very clearly that Steve is the MV variant. Right. The fact that Steve has an MV result is no more than a hint at his vulnerability to mental illness. Scientists would need perhaps a dozen or so genetic markers to accurately predict an individual's outcome. It's a glimpse into a not too distant future, perhaps just five years away, when society will have to grapple with the implications of such tests.